In 1977, humankind launched a small probe into the great unknown, a silent observer designed to study the giants of our solar system before vanishing into interstellar space. Voyager 1, a spacecraft no larger than a small car. Over 14 billion miles away, it's now the farthest human-made object from Earth, and we believed it would eventually fall silent. But now, after nearly 50 years in the void, Voyager 1 has made contact again, and what it sent back has shaken the scientific world to its core. Originally meant to last just five years, Voyager 1 far exceeded expectations. It delivered breathtaking images of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's icy rings, and even gave us our first family portrait of the solar system. Then, in 1990, it turned back one last time to take the now iconic pale blue dot photo of Earth, a lonely pixel suspended in a sunbeam. After that, it kept going and going. By 2012, Voyager 1 became the first object to officially leave the heliosphere, the protective bubble formed by our sun's solar winds. It entered interstellar space, where cosmic rays dominate, temperatures plummet, and the laws of physics begin to blur. And then, silence. For years, Voyager 1 sent only faint readings. Many assumed its time was nearing an end. Until last month. A strange signal arrived at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a signal unlike any other. Not just data, but a pattern, a disruption, and something intelligent? Voyager 1's instruments picked up a ripple, a rhythmic pulse of magnetic variation just beyond the heliopause. At first, scientists thought it was a glitch, but the pattern repeated every 17 hours on the dot. Was it natural phenomenon? An anomaly in the interstellar medium or something else? As teams scrambled to decode the signal, Voyager 1 did something unexpected. It adjusted its position ever so slightly, a maneuver it hasn't made in years. Who or what commanded that? To understand the implications of Voyager 1's signal, we must understand where it is. The heliopause isn't a wall, it's a frontier. The point where solar wind is no longer dominant and interstellar winds take over. But Voyager's latest data suggests this boundary is changing. We've seen unexpected pressure from the interstellar medium as if something is pushing back. But it's not behaving like plasma or radiation. It's structured. Even more disturbing, the direction of incoming cosmic rays has shifted, slightly, but consistently. Something is refracting them. And here's the kicker. Voyager 1 has detected subtle gravitational fluctuations, microwaves, almost like tremors, pulsing every 17 hours. The same timing as this strange magnetic pattern. Coincidence? or coordination. Some theorists believe Voyager has stumbled upon a gravitational anomaly, possibly a tear in the heliospheric boundary, something akin to a spatial bruise caused not by nature, but by immense force. Not a black hole, but something controlled. The term being whispered in hushed circles, interstellar beacon. What if the heliopause isn't just the edge of our solar system, but the border of someone else's territory? What if Voyager 1 wasn't just the first to leave our home, but the first to knock on another door? The final nail in the coffin? NASA's Deep Space Network received a narrowband reply, so faint it almost went unnoticed. It wasn't from Earth. It wasn't from Voyager but it was on Voyager's frequency, and it said only one thing, repeated three times, you are seen. You are seen. Three words that have launched a thousand theories. What does it mean? A threat? A welcome? A warning? 
NASA has remained tight-lipped, but leaks from anonymous insiders suggest that global observatories have been asked to monitor the heliopause for disturbances. And guess what? They found one. An object, cold, dark, and massive, is moving parallel to Voyager 1's path. It reflects no light, it emits no heat, but it leaves behind a subtle trail of ionized hydrogen and it matching Voyager's speed. Some are calling it a probe, others think it's a sentinel, but what's clear is this, Voyager 1 is not alone, not anymore. And remember that slight repositioning Voyager made? NASA now believes it wasn't mechanical error. The onboard star tracker had long ceased to function. The signal that triggered the movement came externally. Voyager was re-aimed toward the anomaly. So here's the question. Did someone or something finally find our cosmic message in a bottle? The golden record carries music, greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, a snapshot of our species, flung into the dark. It was meant as a hello, but maybe, just maybe, it was also a beacon. The implications are staggering. Are we being observed? Are we alone? Or have we finally joined a greater conversation across the stars? NASA has announced a press conference in the coming weeks, and while we may not get all the answers, one thing is certain. Voyager 1, after 50 years in space, has made an impossible discovery. And the universe is watching back. <laughs>